The, the big thing here is we talk about Memorial Weekend. We talk about how big it is, thousands upon thousands who come not only to this lake, but the lakes here around the valley. You called this press conference because you said, look, uh, last year, I don't want to see anything like that again. We see we saw the numbers and they all could be preventable. That's right. Yeah, I did call this press conference today because last year there were 11 deaths on these lakes. And I just think that was so unfortunate. Frankly, one is too many. And every single one of these deaths or most of them are absolutely preventable. So what we're doing today is discussing the ideas to just raise awareness for people to be safe. It's great to enjoy our beautiful lakes. Maricopa County is so beautiful, um, but not just the lakes, but also the trails as well. And so what we're talking about today is make sure if you're on the water, wear a life vest. If you're going to go on a hike, make sure you're hydrated. You go with a buddy. You have someone with you to make sure you're safe at all time. And kids, absolutely. I'm worried about kids. Make sure kids are not unattended. It's very easy to be distracted these days, especially with a cell phone, but make sure that kids are kept safe and most of all, safety first. You know, this is one of those things where every year we tend to have press conference like this, or we give people a heads up like hey you need to be safe around yep. the board. somewhere along the line that there's a disconnect around there how do we get to them how can we reach out to them to make sure hey you need to be p paying attention at all sure times? but in living in maricopa county and even arizona we can never be complacent we can never let up our guard frankly 200 people move here every day so someone watching today is hearing this message for the first time but even if you grew up here if you're a native you just have to be have that message reinforced and that's why i'm grateful to have the sheriff's office here today to have the parks department we're all working in conjunction Junction to raise awareness of this important issue to make sure that no lives are lost this summer. Memorial Day's coming. I just want everyone to have a good time. You know, here's the thing. You know, a lot of folks, the worst thing they could say, it'll never happen to me. But right. you and I were just talking about it. This happened to a young doctor over on a, on a trail here. So if this can happen to a doctor who wasn't paying attention to hydration, that's just one of the things. And the other thing, just because you're around water, you got to stay hydrated on the water as well. Yeah, absolutely. Every story is a tragedy and people think they're invincible. It doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter what your health is. The sun here is very powerful. The climate here we live in is very unique. So we just have to be careful. And obviously water, you have to respect water. Water is a very powerful source and we just have to be very careful. Get on those boats. Be careful with alcohol. If you can, don't drink alcohol. But if you do, be responsible. Most of all, wear a life vest and make sure that everyone is acting responsible in a good way. You know, and as we mentioned, we're here at Scorpion Bay Marina, but you talked about it. We're talking hiking trails. We're talking the different lakes that we have here in the valley. It's important to know, especially if you have folks coming in to visit, to educate them as well, because a lot of those folks really underestimate what, one, the water can do, especially this heat. Yeah, absolutely. And as a county supervisor, I see the effect it has on our resources as well. Sheriff's Office does an absolutely great job. But last year, they did 105 search and rescue operations. I would like to see that number come down this year. But we know that they're there and they're there to take care of us as well. So the press conference is going to get underway here in a few minutes. And uh, Scott, you've been on the water many as you go to the Lake of the Ozarks. And you know how important it is to be safe when you're out on the water. But uh, the supervisor makes a great point here. It's not only on the water, it's on land. A lot of mm -hmm. folks who like to come into town, especially for the weekend, and underestimate what that heat can do for you. Yeah. And no drinking while boating, mm -hmm. for sure. Thanks, Gibby.